This is a follow-up lesson to the first one we gave on Flash and Action Script 3 progress bar and text. And uh, this one will be showing you some cosmetics that you can place above your bar like a border. And we'll also show you a masking technique that will also serve as a cool effect. Alright, now, first thing we're going to do is uh, select the load bar and load text layer and rename that load bar. And the next step is to create a new layer above it and we're going to rename that border and text we're going to make sure it only has one frame by right clicking the second frame there and select remove frames so we're going to grab our dynamic text field on stage here we're going to cut it by pressing control X and now select that new layer and press control shift V to paste the dynamic text in place so now we have our text there now let's make a border and we're going to pull out a rectangle primitive drag it out to be 200 pixels wide and 8 pixels high and once that's set we have a thickness on the border of 2.75 and you'll notice there is no fill and we're going to make sure that's sitting right above our movie clip that we made in the first video. And uh, so what will happen is that movie clip, that load bar movie clip, will grow right underneath and in between that border. And so that's one method of cosmetics. And the second method is you keep your border there and everything. And select the movie content layer and create a new layer there. And we're going to name this one load bar. And you'll notice now we have two layers named load bar. So we're going to rename the load bar layer now, mask. We're going to keep the item, the movie clip that is on the mask layer, and on that layer, and that's going to serve as our mask now. Now, with that logic, our mask is now going to logic, or our mask is going to dynamically grow, uh, and not our our load bar. We're going to put a new movie clip here to be our load bar. So highlight the second frame and right click it and select remove frames on the load bar layer the new load bar layer and uh, in our library I already have a a symbol a movie clip symbol named my new or my new bar and uh, I'm gonna drag that on that load bar layer that we just created underneath both of the other layers there and now I'm going to select the mask layer and right click it and select mask from the pull down and now what happens is our our dynamic movie clip that we made in the first tutorial is serving as a mask that's going to magically grow and show us that bar and I'll show you the bar I created now you can lock all of these layers and just select that green bar with the dashes and I'll show you inside of it there's a whole, just a whole bunch of rectangle primitives that are five pixels wide and eight pixels high and they're put right next to each other to make a, a dashed line looking thing and that's it so now you'll have uh, when you go ahead and publish this save this and publish this and you go into your uh, get it up on your web server you'll see that you have uh, new cosmetics for your load bar and it looks more like a load bar than it did before okay we'll see you next lesson